Hey, so if you've made it this far, we are diving into part two of this handwriting effect. And so um, if you've been following along, what we have here is our strokes that we've animated on our word frye. And uh, if you've made it this far, uh, this is strong work. Well done. You should be proud of yourself. We're going to dive in now to the more advanced features where we're going to be adding some flourishes to help accent. And it's um, it might be a little bit more advanced, but honestly, after I show you how to do it, it's no big deal. And it's going to add a lot to your animation. It's subtle, but it's cool. So what I've created is a folder that has a series of strokes. So using my pen tool, I've just created a series of paths that um, are white strokes. And what we're going to do is we're going to animate these on. So um, that stroke is going to animate as our frye is animating as well. And so it's just going to add that nice accent. And so the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these paths. So after you've drawn out, then you kind of just decide where you want to draw your accents. And keep in mind that, say, for instance, as as the blue comes in, it starts from this point of my F and it comes down and it's going to loop up. So keeping that in mind, I'm going to draw this accent starting from this point. I'm going to loop down and up so that as this animates in, this one is going to help sort of mm, create an accent of that motion. All right, and then same with this one as this stroke animates up and over as it comes across. So this line up here is going to animate across as well. So just keep that in mind as you're drawing your strokes. That can be helpful. All right, so the very first thing I want to do is I want to do a stroke dashes keyframe. And this is where we want to copy to offset dashes. OK? And then what I want to do is I want to zoom real close. So what we have to do is right now, this is essentially set to zero, so I can't see anything. Then I want to move forward on my timeline just a little bit, and I want to go ahead and start with this path. And when I do that, let's see. When I start with that path, I'm going to make sure my offset matches my length here, which it does. And then right here, I'm go ahead. I'm going to add, say, ten and then add a comma, and then hit Enter. And once I do, you'll see a little bit of color start right there to my stroke. And I could increase this dash if I wanted to. Say, if I wanted to go up to 50, it gets a little bit longer. But I'm going to start with 5. And then what I want to do is just, I'm going to scr scrub down on my timeline a ways. And I am going to make sure that this cancels out. So I'm going to select this 5 and this comma here, and I'm just going to delete it. Pretty easy. So now I have a new keyframe, and what that's doing is as it comes across, my, my dash here grows. And so it grows until it matches the offset length or the length of my entire shape. It's kind of cool. Pretty easy to do, honestly. Like, it's surprisingly simple. Now, I could adjust how fast I want it. That's really fast. Or I can move this out and make it slower. It's totally up to you on timing wise. All right. We will get to setting it on our timeline here in just a little bit. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to do that process. I'm going to repeat it for all of these. So, a little bit tedious. And you can go ahead, feel free to skip forward. But I am just going to make sure I start with a 10 here or a 5. Totally up to you. Comma, enter, scrub forward, and then just delete this guy. So highlight the dash and delete it. And I'm going to keep doing that until all my strokes are done. This one. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward, and then I will meet back with you here in just a moment. 
Okay, so now that I've created that, I've done the same technique to all of these strokes. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out of my timeline. All right, and then just finding, let's see. So let's go ahead and set this one. So where do I want? So I'm going to select these, and I'm going to select all my keyframes that are with, let's see, this is the one I want. I want to select these ones. So I'm going to play my animation. And as maybe that white starts, maybe right around there, I'm going to move this. So let's try that. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yep. Maybe an even forward. So as the color comes in. Yes. Okay. Now let's go to this one. Move it like this. Cool. And now I keep going along my sequence. This one I'm going to move up. And I'm going to make this one faster. So I'm going to grab this keyframe and move it in. Maybe not quite that fast. Maybe I'll zoom in just a little bit. There we go. I think I actually want this to start when the white comes through. Yeah. Cool. Now let's go ahead and grab this one. Move it up. And then I'm going to grab, let's see, do that one. So let's do this one. Grab all my keyframes and move it up. This guy, grab all my keyframes, move them up. Oh, this is looking very nice. Very nice indeed. I'm going to back this up a little bit, grab all my keyframes, move them up. Oh, yeah. And then the last one, just finish it off here. Did I get them all? I think I got them all. So if I go ahead and play it now. Awesome. Maybe we can make it a little bit slower. Let's see. I like that. So you're welcome to play with the timing however you see fit. That feels pretty good to me. Um, so yeah, you can see it didn't take a whole lot of time. Same technique I used throughout. You can adjust the spacing of your keyframes to adjust that timing to make it a little bit snappier or less. It's totally up to you. But those extra little flourishes, they just add a lot to this. So. Well done. That's the advanced part two, and you nailed it. Great job. All right. Well, that does it for part one and part two of this handwriting tutorial. Great work. Um, if you have enjoyed these tutorials, please, we'd love it if you would like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to leave a comment and let us know what else you're looking for, what other techniques that you would like to learn, um, and hopefully we can get to those. So just let us know. And until then, hope you have a fantastic day, whether it's a Friday or a Friday or just another day of the week. All right. See you next time. Take care. Bye.